I am Mike. Welcome back to America's Generators. Today we're going to talk a bit about changing voltages on a rental grade or unit with a selector switch. Okay, so you have your rental grade generator that has a selector switch mounted on top of your electrical end. First thing you want to do with any piece of equipment that you own is read your owner's manual. Get familiar with how your equipment is operated. Okay, let's locate and take a look at our voltage selector switch. So once you've located the selector switch, you'll notice that there are marked voltages in specific positions. What you'd want to do is locate the voltage that applies to your equipment and you put the switch in that position. For example, 277, 480. Note to self, before making any changes to the selector switch itself or any voltage configuration, please make sure that your generator is at a complete stop and the engine is at rest. Do not operate your selector switch while the engine is running or your generator is making voltage. Once your selector switch has been placed in the appropriate position on your newer units, your configuration will already be pre-selected for you. So there's not much to do there in the way of configuration. Once your unit is ready to be restart, you go ahead and power up your controller and you start the engine during doing your regular process. Once the generator comes up to the the rated speed, you may have to adjust the voltage with your potentiometer located on the panel right here. With the potentiometer mounted on the control panel, you'll be able to carry your voltage to the nominal selected voltage that you picked on the switch and your unit will be ready for operation. From there, you can close your generator's breaker and it's ready for use. Thank you very much for joining me today. Remember, I'm Mike with America's Generators. If you have any questions, comments, feel free to give us a call. We'll be happy to help you out. Thank you and stay powered.